Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? Welcome. <clears throat> Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, we are going to be talking about squirt guns in the back rooms. Actually, this is the first back rooms weapon I've covered on the channel. Uh, hopefully, you're ready for this. Also, this is the last pre recorded video, so this is the last video with my face just at the beginning. From now on, it's going to be my face the entire time, along with the normal text on the side. Hopefully, you enjoy it, and let's get into the video, guys. Back rooms explained squirt blasters. I can't say the real thing because of YouTube, I guess, so squirt blasters it is. This is the first backrooms weapon that I'm covering, so I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. So these things are ranged water weapons that can be used as a very effective tool in the backrooms. Specifically, they can be filled with any liquid using the tank that's attached to them. They physically look like a big super soaker thing from real life with a hose that runs from the actual weapon to the canister that you wear on your back. You can put multiple liquids into this thing, which we'll talk about in a second, but if you do put multiple different kinds of liquid at the same time, it won't mix. Instead, it'll just create layers of those liquids, kind of like oil and water. The tank itself is also immune to any corrosive effects from any liquid you might put into it, so liquid pain won't erode the tank. These can fire liquid that are put into them, and they all have different effects when you fire the liquid. If you fill up the tank with almond water, it can be used as a weapon against entities that are weak to it. If you remember, some entities are really weak, and it can even unalive them if you use it. So using this thing, you can hit your target from far away and still have the same effects. This is really useful for large groups of entities that need to be taken care of quickly. You can also fill it up with cashew water, which becomes really potent inside of the tank, and when it's fired, it can draw entities away from you and also hurt them pretty bad. And you can also put pyroil in the tank, which if you remember is liquid fire salt. Now this can be used as a very effective projectile because when you fire it and it hits the target, it'll immediately catch on fire and it never hardens in the tank or in the piping. So it's kind of like napalm, liquid fire. Of course, you can also fill it up with liquid pain which will just cause the usual effects on whatever you're firing it at. This is also very useful for taking out big groups of entities or big entities themselves, because liquid pain is so corrosive. And since you can fire from so far away, it's really effective. You can put other liquids in the tank as well, like memory juice or liquid silence, but these don't do anything special when fired. They just do their normal effects. However, the tank is still a great way to store large amounts of liquid, so if you just want to put a bunch of liquid silence back there and just carry it without shooting it, I mean, that's fine too. You can find a squirt blaster <laughs> on level 31, which is the arcade level, and inside of a few stores on level 33, there's also been some found in the stock room on level 40. So yeah, a squirt blaster, sorry, I have to keep saying that, YouTube might demonetize, I don't know is a weapon that can be filled with any liquid in the back rooms. And when it's fired, it can be a very effective deterrent or even lethal force weapon against entities. You can also use it as a way to store large amounts of liquid on your back so you don't have to carry it in bottles, I guess. I don't know. Nice. If you want more back rooms weapons explained, just let me know down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and supporting me. Happy New Year's Eve, guys. I'll see you on the 2nd of January, 2022. See ya.